Hackers have already been spotted in Halo Infinite. The largest Halo event ever coming next month. Halo Infinite has gone gold and we know exactly when Halo Infinite is going to release. And the meme lord himself, Craig, makes it into the final build of the campaign. You wanna know more? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Kevin here. Welcome to the channel that keeps you up to date with everything going on in Halo. We have quite a few news stories to cover here guys. A lot of stuff to talk about. So let's not waste much more time and get right into it. So if you like this news and informational videos, make sure you tap that like button. It really helps out the video and channel get a better place within that YouTube algorithm. If you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the official release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So it really was only a matter of time before the never ending arms race against cheaters actually happens. And it looks like we finally had it happen here in Halo Infinite. This clip was posted on Twitter from Dextro showing some suspicious gameplay from this one particular Spartan. And I'll just have you guys take a look for it uh, for yourself. Uh, come on. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> No. Oh, <laughs> flick. Hey, no way, man. I died during one of these. I saw him. So yeah, as you can see, some uh, questionable moves right there, which is a uh, kind of uh, a bit concerning. Already within the first week, we're having cheaters already hit the Halo Infinite matchmaking system, and. You know, we don't know if this guy ended up getting like booted out eventually or something like that. Uh, but we do know that this is a never ending arms race against cheaters. Uh, we're already concerning seeing it already happening. Uh, we just want to know like how, how 343 can handle this kind of stuff. How quickly is their turnaround when it comes to their anti-cheat? We've seen Call of Duty release their new Ricochet anti-cheat. And from what I've been hearing for the most part, cheating has kind of calmed down a bit, but it's a rather intrusive anti-cheat where it kind of really digs into your system in a way to really kind of identify what kind of player you are. Valorant does a very similar thing as well and I think also Apex but it's also just kind of what you have to do now against cheaters. It's a never ending arms race though so their game is never gonna be completely clear of hackers but you know it's some, something that just kind of happens with free to play games. From my experience though I haven't really noticed anybody hacking. I mean I've played about 20 hours so far within the first week of Halo Infinite. And from my experience, I haven't really noticed anything obviously hacking. There's been some like questionable moments. I was like, how did he know me? But like nothing too consistent like what this guy was showing here on that clip. We'll certainly keep an eye on the story guys. And if anything else develops, I'll let you guys know on this channel. We'll talk about PC gaming and aiming. Well, this transition is gonna lead right into a nice fix I just released for Halo Infinite. A lot of people have been reporting issues of aiming while being on Steam. And it looks like the Steam input issue affecting Xbox gamepad aiming and movement in Halo Infinite has been resolved. Thank you for your patience. I know some people have been having issues with like aim assist not working. Now I play on Steam. I haven't noticed aim assist going in and out or anything like that. Um, maybe I'm not just in tune with my controller enough to really understand if this is an issue that's been occurring to me. But a small notable section of the community has been experiencing this and is glad to see that fix has rolled out for all players. Now with the largest Halo event happening in December guys next month, these tournaments are starting to ramp up already for this weekend. The HTS Twitter revealed their new intro for their broadcast, which is an awesome CGI work. It looks absolutely amazing. And they also announced that an official Halo Infinite broadcast begins this weekend to kick off the open tournaments on Sunday. Check it out on Twitch and on YouTube as well. We have your typical broadcasters here, uh, Bravo, Onset, Clutch as well. We also have some amazing community members on top of that. We got Shyway also doing some casting and also why not be casting? This guy's been grinding. He's an up and comer caster, guys. You definitely want to check him out. We see these live streams, guys, so make sure you give him a shout out. Remember how I said the December event's gonna be the largest Halo event ever? Well, it's been confirmed that over 400 teams have signed up for the open bracket competition right here. This is the largest Halo competition ever in Halo's eSport history. No game previously has seen this many teams sign up for a competition. This is gonna be an absolutely epic to see how this all plays out. All of this culminating in the December Raleigh event happening from December 16th to the 19th as well. You guys are definitely gonna to wanna to watch that as well because there are gonna be Twitch drops as well, which will provide content for you to earn in game as well. Probably some double XP, so probably some challenge swaps on top of that. So it's gonna be a beneficial for you as a casual fan to actually sit down and watch these. 
If they maintain the same cadence as they did for, during Halo 5 with like the rec pack drops, about every match, every other game, we would have a new drop when it comes to an XP code or something like that you can type in for Halo 5. I assume to see something very similar as well. So this would be a continuous thing throughout the live streams. So you definitely are gonna wanna check out those HCS events. I know I'll be watching. In some amazing Halo Infinite news, Halo Infinite has officially gone gold. And what does that actually mean to go gold? This doesn't revolve with anything with sales or anything like that. Going gold for a game means that they have locked down all the content that's gonna be there for launch. They've worked out bugs and things like that. So this game is ready to be shipped now. Now you might be thinking, dude, they just finally figured out like the final build of the game before like less than a month before the release. This is actually pretty standard for most games out there, guys. Uh, especially if you remember like Halo 2's development, it was basically like the very last minute that they tried to squeeze out as much development time as possible before releasing that game because the development on that game was true development hell. But it's just reassuring hearing that 343 has finished the build of Halo Infinite that's gonna go live for all players on December 8th. And yes, we all know December 8th is the day, but like when on December 8th? Is it actually going to release early like a universal release like we've seen previously in North America where like for me, games actually release at 9 p.m., which has been super nice for me. But it looks like it's going to be mixed up a little bit different with the actual release time that we finally had revealed recently by 343. And there is a display of all the time zones of where Halo Infinite will actually release. This is going to be a universal release. The game is going to release to everybody across the world all at one time. I suggest you pause the video if you want to see your exact time zone, but we'll just kind of go over some of the major locations like here in Seattle, where I'm from. The game will release on December 8th at 10 a.m., which is an interesting time. Often these releases happen during the evening to ease off server load and also just developers just can't wait to release the game, but it looks like we're getting a nice 10 a.m. early morning release, guys, so set your clocks properly. That's 1 o'clock p.m. over in Eastern America. Over in the UK, that's 6 p.m. And do you know we have some fans from India, which New Delhi is showing at 11.30 p.m. And for my Australian friends, Down Under on December 9th at 5 a.m. is when the game will release and over in Auckland, 7 a.m. on December 9th. I will say also be patient when it comes to the official launch of the game. Oftentimes, official release dates are super packed full of people playing and stuff like that. But I kind of expect it to be a rather smooth launch because with the beta launch that we had for Halo Infinite, I mean, yeah, there are some bugs out there for sure. They all, I've crashed a couple times while playing the game, but for the most part, it's been a pretty smooth experience. You know, the servers are up, they're running. It's been enjoyable. And so I expect the same for the campaign release as well, which we will be live streaming the campaign as soon as it goes live, guys. I'll be streaming it on my Twitch channel, link in the description down below and also in the pinned comment. As soon as that campaign drops, guys, that's the only thing I'm gonna be playing until I actually finish the game, mainly to avoid spoilers. Now I'm taking that entire week off of work, guys. It's gonna be daily streams, playing Halo Infinite, getting through that campaign, grinding the multiplayer battle pass, it's going to be a great time. And while we're on the subject of the campaign, a nice little Easter egg has been revealed to all of us guys. And it looks like Craig made it into the final build of the game. There's a specific location within the open world. If you check it out, it's Craig's greatest hits. And he has a whole kind of shrine dedicated to him on the ring of Zeta Halo guys. You can actually travel there using the grapple shot or like a banshee or something like that. Um, this is just absolutely amazing. And on the back of this record, it says, I smile inside for the Craig. I was alone. I got tears last summer. I'm the Craig in your heart. My mom used to love me. Popped in the chin by my friend. Space Govers, where'd the rhinos go? The smell of flowers makes me happy. Your words hurt, but I love it. The day you become a meme. Grunt, grunt, grunt. I can't grow beard. I am so famous. I just love the fact that Craig made it into the final build, guys. Like, Craig is gonna live in eternity when it comes to Halo Infinite. Craig made this game better, and it's important that we recognize that, honestly, because that year of development, guys, really changed a lot of things with Halo Infinite. The graphics have greatly improved, the systems have improved, the gameplay has certainly improved, as well as we can already tell. And I'm super happy to see Halo Infinite is looking to have an epic launch this fall. So if you're new to the channel and missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I've got a link to all my Halo Infinite news videos we've been uploading daily about. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.